Box here. Today we're going to give a beginner's guide to College Ultimate Team. There's a lot of things to go through. Now, if you played Madden Ultimate Team the last couple of years, a lot of it will be familiar. It rhymes. It's pretty similar. But there are some key differences and things that they've added and, and are, are new that you want to kind of look out for. So we'll talk about things you should do early and often and uh, what to look for on a weekly rotating basis. Now, I think I'm going to go through menu by menu. It's not exactly the first thing you should do, but I think you should know everything. So challenges are solo offline like moments and stuff that you, you you go ahead and complete solo seasons which are currently down is basically exactly like head-to-head -head seasons but for offline content this is brand new this year take on the cv unit season events that's down right now because it was glitched to launch the game same with solo battles so like if you just click on them it'll say air server maintenance because it was giving out too much xp that's why i'm level 26 right now because they'll complete a solo battle before they they took them down they're giving too much ps5 tournaments go ahead and just ignore that um that doesn't really matter head to head so there are two types of head-to-head. -head. There are squads where you can play with your friends against other squads. There's a regular season that's basically just head-to-head against another guy or, or gal online. Uh, you know, I don't want to say one way or the other. There are different divisions. I've only played one regular season game so far. Uh, I've played some house rules, that stuff. There are a few people up here. Uh, but yeah, you go up, you get better rewards for winning Super Bowls uh, and games as you move up in the regular seasons winning games there are leaderboards and then uh, uh that's basically just like it says in the other corner these are where you're playing it practice mode it wasn't working for me but it's basically how you can like uh fix your scheme and stuff and, and figure things out house rules are short quick rotating game modes it won't always be active right now it's overtime rules so these like if you're mainly an offline player and like all the offline things are down right now i think uh playing house rules because like, if you finish all your challenges that is playing house rules is amazing right there's no there's no downside to losing there and then you win and you get some rewards uh obviously it works for the field pass we'll get to the field pass what that is in a second um so that's kind of like how you just like utilizing your squad now how do you build your squad obviously through coins and um well there are three different types of currencies here i'll, I'll show it to you right here there is training which you need in order to get like abilities and upgrade players and uh, uh different di uh change their chems and stuff there are points these points you buy with real money on the store. Coins are earned either through selling cards or through like challenges, rewards from uh, playing game modes, that kind of stuff. That's your season level. We'll get to that in a second. There's your overall of your team, okay? So that's kind of like the, the first page introductory to everything. So that's like that page, right? Now live events. Now live events is like your field pass and these are where you're gonna kinda like look to see what you need to accomplish. Orientation is there, season one field pass. You can look through all these things but the most important things, now this, I'll go ahead and ignore all this stuff since these things are on other pages. Like from challenges, really the only thing that's different here is objectives, okay? Now click into objectives either with X or triangle. Um, you can look through daily objectives, L1, R1 to bring up the different objectives you gotta get either over time through season one, um, conference stories uh, daily. So they will refresh uh, these objectives. And then obviously you can look through and see what the rewards are on the field pass as we go along. Now, other than that, hit L2 to see your other field passes. So we did look at orientation um, objectives here. So you can go ahead and click into that to see these objectives. So I gotta complete a set uh, play a solo season game, which I can't do right now. Complete 10 challenges. Uh, that's that's basically it. If you want to see what you want to kind of focus on to get like rewards for different passes, the live event is there. Otherwise, generally just playing the game is good enough. Now, here's the marketplace um, uh, and my team. There are a lot of things that kind of like are, are the same exact thing, but on different menus. Like the catalog, I think is on three separate menus. It's, no, sorry, two separate menus. Uh, on marketplace my team both have the catalog okay so the catalog we're gonna do that first has every single card in the game in it and uh and at the top uh hitting left r1 l1 you can go between auction house sets my items which are basically the other things in the menu that we just went past so the catalog you can look through every single team uh card in the game obviously the global usage is busted these guys are not used by 93 percent of the population the auction values are close but they're not normally like exactly right so you can click on the card you can look through his attributes go here um upgrades obviously you can look through what abilities they have on this screen um, if you want to look at what's the, the problem is like you got to make sure they have that achieve 
See how it says achieve 82 catching? You got to make sure he's got that in order to unlock that ability. So he has um, 90 catching. So he do, he would get that ability if he wanted uh, whatever that was. Uh, uh, sure hands bronze, okay? Slightly improved ability to avoid drops. So that's kind of like looking through the cards. And abilities, we'll have videos as we go along about abilities. I, like, I don't know anything about abilities right now. Um, I have not played the game, and all abilities are new this year. So I, I, I'm not going to go ahead and talk out of my behind on something that I have no clue about. So anyways, let's go back. So we could have L1, R1, but let's go back to the main uh, menu right here. Here's the My Team Store Sets. We'll get to, we'll get to the store where we do the Marketplace menu. Sets. Sets are pretty basic right now. They only have, like, upgrade sets. So as the year goes on, generally, in Mutt... There's a lot more sets as far as, um, like, promos come. They'll be able to do, like, like 385s for, like, an 87, etc. Um, these ones are, like, four undercards. Like, 480 overalls for even 82 to 83. Um, sometimes sets are profitable. It's one of the best way of making coins throughout the game, throughout the whole year. It's sets. It's sets, 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 sets. Um, that's been consistent over the years in Madden. Now, uh, some sets we've had in the past that are loopholes, which basically give you, like, infinite training. Those things generally get patched out. Um, obviously, there are just raw glitches where, like, something's wrong in the game. But we've had loopholes over the years, which have been amazing. Those generally last, like, a little bit. Not too long, so you gotta get on, on those when they're in there. And then they obviously have methods, which are basically, hey, the market has underpriced a certain card. Say they underpriced 78s. And you can throw 478s in, sell it uh, either the 80 or 81, and then over time make a profit. So there are different, like, and that's that's all market-based. Those are methods, and that goes away as the market, like, rebalances itself through the year. Okay, so those are sets, um, like I said, pretty basic right now. Basically, you can ignore them, okay? So if you're a beginner, I would just go ahead and ignore sets at the moment. Um, my items are your binder. Okay, these are all the items that you own. So these are all my, like, pre-order. Hopefully you guys watched that video where I did the pre-order opening. Um, I was also able to get some of these cards from getting my level season up. So, item binder, same thing, right? Item binder is all the cards you... It says my items, that's just the item binder. Same thing that we were just in, um, those same menus. And then lineup, this is where you go ahead and change your lineup, change your players. In here, uh, you can generate your best lineup. That's what I've been doing so far because I don't really have like a scheme that I'm using. I don't really have cards I want to put in certain positions. I'm not using any abilities um sometimes um so offense defense are pretty standard like there's nothing i really want to describe here obviously looking through the chemistry um getting chemistry tiers up you can click on them to see what kind of bonuses you get nothing here it, like until you get to 50 components 50 components of speed which is very important if you guys have played any football games ever or most any games ever speed is is the number one thing you want to look at so maxing out your 425 which i currently have Add a 45 player, but you get your lineup to get 25 plus chem boost. So I have 27 total. So if I get up to 50, I'll have huge. And then I have Alabama. So all the uh, team chems, if you get up to 50 components of the Alabama, it's also plus one speed. Basically, what they said is you can add any chemistry to any card in the game. It's just going to be expensive to get that plus one speed. So it is, it is very pay to win at the moment. Um, switching guys' is chemistry over because I heard it's kind of expensive. So, offense, defense, place the guys where you want to play them. Importantly, special teams, kick returner, punt returner. Um, uh, long snapper doesn't really matter. Kickoff starter, I generally just put the kicker there, but it looks like my punter has more kick power, so they got him at uh, kickoff starter. Specialist, third down running back, power halfback. So, third down running backs are guys who are like in shotgun sets. Like, if, you, if you're going to, like, trips tight end or something, this will be a third down running back. That'll be that starting running back there. I know a lot of people are confused of, like, why is my starting running back not in this, starting in this set, etc. Power halfback would be, like, in, like, goal line formations, that kind of stuff. Uh, heavy eye forms. Um, slot receiver, if you got three receivers on your formation, say, like, I talk about trips tight end, you got three receivers out there uh, because your trips, generally trips left, trips right, whatever. Um, your slot receiver... So you can, so it won't be like your third receiver. One of your outside guys, say if I put Travis Hunter at slot receiver, he will move to the third receiver slot position. So it allows you to kind of have a guy out there out wide and like like a two receiver set, but also more in the middle in a three receiver set. The sub linebackers are basically guys that come out in nickel and dime sets. So I have a linebacker and a strong safety here. 
Linebackers, I've heard do jump this year. Players don't jump as high as they, they have in previous Maddens. Um, I don't have any abilities out there on them yet, though, so maybe that'll make them go crazier. So you can basically, you know, these are your linebackers you're in a nickel set dime set okay whereas if you're in like a three four four three these are your linebackers and your more base sets so that's what sub linebacker means strategy items um i'm like i don't really care that much at the moment on strategy items i would go ahead if like if you have a strategy item go ahead and equip it otherwise i wouldn't stress too much about them at the moment playbooks self-explanatory what playbooks you want to run we'll have another a video on what playbooks um, here are the visuals are your uniform coach stadium that kind of stuff um, I haven't really done anything with them yet as I don't really care about the swag of my team so marketplace the last thing we've talked about sets okay we've talked about the catalog add points is just straight money that's just where you add money auctions and store it's a lot of how you build your squad up let's go to the store first store there's going to be a daily, I already bought it today, but there's going to be a daily like 100 coin pack. I would just get that every day. It's generally a good return on value. Um, otherwise, every other va every other pack in this game is generally a coin loss. Just, just every time you open a pack, unless there's like some sort of special occasion, like a loophole or something weird, just know you're losing value, okay? Because uh, economically, if we had positive value on packs, people are going to open packs with their coins until there's no no more there's no positive value left okay so that, that, that intuitively should make sense right because if there's a way of making coins people are going to do it until it's no longer profitable and that's the same thing with pats now i'm not saying pats are always always negative value there are exceptions like generally sometimes these low packs can bring off positive value but generally 95 99 percent of the time packs are going to be a l for value now, obviously, you can put as much money into the game as you want, um, and you're going to get value out of like, the green points, which are cash. Okay, there's the training stuff that are locked. Okay, so that's that's the store. The auction house um, uh, is just how you go ahead and buy cards with coins. All right, so you can filter here to what overall you want to look for. Um, the 90 overall card right now, 1.2 million. Luther Burden's pretty good. Okay, um, 88 to 89. Um, these are the, you know the best cards in the game at the moment obviously this will change throughout the year which overall so that's kind of what I wanted to go through but um, how much you can afford is how much you can buy I think that basically covers everything a cut for beginners um, but like I said you really want if you're just starting off um, I, I just I sold a couple of uh, playbooks and whatnot if you're just starting off do your challenges first um, solo battles I would highly recommend doing them on low difficulties um, solo seasons, I haven't been able to get get into and play them yet because they've been down um, since it launched. But uh, yeah, I would go ahead if that that's the order you should probably do things: is challenges, solo battles, solo seasons after that, and then uh, house rules to practice against other players is a great opportunity before you go ahead and head into head-to-head -head streets. All right, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe. Bye.